All right, y'all, I've got my tin full hat on because this is literally probably the biggest conspiracy to me, but I can see it happening. All right, we're going to start here looking at the difference in the Elantra and the Fusion. The Elantra being the vehicle owned by one said Brian Koberger, the Ford Fusion allegedly being an undercover Moscow police cop car. So here we have the back end of the Hyundai Elantra. And I want you to pay attention to the brake lights. It has a third row brake light and then two in the back. Not sure why I said third row. <laughs> Think about seats inside of a car. But anyway, it has a third brake light situated at the top of the trunk. This is the back of a Ford Fusion, like the one seen in the video, Banfield video, driven by the undercover cops, okay? The style of this vehicle has not changed since 2014, and they stopped producing them in 2020. This is a view of the front of the Elantra and the Ford Fusion side by side. So this is a still shot from the Banfield video of the Ford Fusion that was seen on November 13th at like 3 a.m. for this alcohol stop. This is the Ford Fusion overlaid on top of the Linda Lane footage. Now let's see how well it matches up. So it does have some issues when it lines up. However, you got to understand this picture was taken from the officer's body cam, which is a wall eye view. So we're going to do the same with a stock image of a fusion. Only thing I can say is this. Y'all would not want me up on that jury because I'm trying to tell you right now. You would never without more video, right, convince me that this was solely a Hyundai Elantra and that any other car manufactured is out of the question. Especially when you have plain clothes officers in the area in one that looks like this. Now we have to do the Elantra too. Okay. So this is a 2015 Hyundai Elantra side view like in the video so let's see how it lines up i'm not gonna lie they both work both of them literally line up but there's also a problem with the lights we're gonna take a minute and overlay this elantra right in and out with the transparency just so we can see how it lines up dimension wise they are not the same. The Fusion is like a foot, foot and a half longer than the Elantra. Which actually makes it line up perfectly with the Linda Lane footage. They both have a rear, rear panel window that literally angles up in the back. I mean, did they just find a car that could have passed as the undercover car? Maybe. Alright, I want you to watch this clip right here. And I want you to pay attention to where the arrow comes in. So this video is inverted, which means lights are black and everything else is just white, okay? Now we're back to normal and this is when this person is backing up to turn around. We'll play it again inverted, but notice you only see two lights for the brake light. This is the cop walking to the undercover car. Note the shape of the brake light. And this is a Hyundai Elantra with the, all the brake lights on inverted. Now this is the Ford Fusion slash undercover police car with its brake lights illuminated. There is no third brake light. Kind of like the car we see in the video. You can see this third row, th third light right here glowing, right? So 
we should be able to see it in the surveillance footage. Now, if y'all remember in the beginning, when this video first came out, I said something about an Elantra and the way it sounded. I'm like, dang, like an Elantra sounds like that. If you're into cars, you know what I'm talking about. It's like a low rumble in the video, just like, blah, 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 blah. I don't know how to do it, but you know what I mean. Here, I'll play it. Now, I want you to listen to this. Y'all hear that rumble? It's like that low kind of like, it like reverberates the speakers. It's the kind of noise that like when you hear on a car, if you're a chick in the cars, you got to go like change your drawers. Like it's so hot. Anyway, long story. I mean, not story, but long conversation short. That was the exhaust on a Ford Fusion. I tried to find sounds of an Elantra, but apparently people who maybe own these cars aren't that proud of them because there are no videos of one running unless they've modified the exhaust. Literally nowhere on the internet. So per usual, let me know in the comments, what do you think? Am I tinfoil crazy or could this be that car? All right, y'all, I'm out. Like my power if I don't pay it before tomorrow.